Okay, so yesterday I spoke about uh, electrolytes, which I'm going to speak a little bit more about today, and uh, what vegetables are really important on a ketogenic protocol or low carb or keto, um, well not keto, carnivore, but maybe how to get your potassium and uh, you seem to like my chill videos, but of course they're not all going to be chill because Stephanie's got a little spunk in her. But I want to talk about uh, potassium and vegetables, oxalates, foods that seem ketogenic or low carb, but they're really not. So let's talk about the old spinach juice, which is what I used to prescribe for potassium. This stuff, super poisonous. It really is. It just takes six of these leaves to overstretch your amount of oxalates, which is a two carbon molecule. It's really small does a lot of damage. They're like shards of glass or needles or toothpicks. They like to deposit in weird places. Your connective tissue, your brain, your thyroid, your adrenals, your, your gallbladder, your liver, your kidneys. That's where kidney stones come from. Your breasts, your vulva. You know, people think that they're having uh, urinary tract infections when really they might just be having uh, oxalate buildup in those tissues. Uh, I've been doing this thing for 12 years without any refeeding on any junk, but I didn't realize this stuff was harming me as well. I haven't had any carbs, sugar, starches, sweet fruits, not that. But, uh, you know, people will re reference videos from the past and I'll say, that's the past. We're learning every day. So, potassium. I spoke about it yesterday. Now, you can get your potassium from liver, get on the head to tail, not nose to tail, not nose to tail, head to tail, get on the uh, meat broth. Lean meats have a little bit more potassium in them than fattier meats, of course, and just slow cook it. Take that juice and drink it with some fat. Now, all those things that are on the internet that are just such nonsense because I spoke so long before about being careful for the anti-nutrients in foods, the salicylates, the oxalates, and I used to say oxalates all the time, but I really didn't understand how damaging they are. I knew they were bad, but I know now how really bad they are. They form crystals easily in your liver, kidney, thyroid. And so a lot of you women who think that your thyroid is due to just stress or often because of estrogen dominance, which is still a problem. It could also be because of too many green smoothies and salads. I don't know how many consultations I do where people are eating green salads. If you're gonna eat a salad, eat arugula, but don't eat raw spinach. This is the last bag. I've been eating it since going off carnivore, but in very small amounts boiled uh, the water, strained out of it, and then fried, but I'm done. It's just not worth it. You get your potassium from avocados. If you don't have a latex allergy, some people are like, oh, I don't feel well. Don't eat it if you don't feel well. That goes for eggs too, which is, is not an oxalate, but you know, eggs and all the things that people say are ketogenic. People are doing bulletproof coffee and all this stupid stuff. Don't do stuff because everybody else says to do it. Question me, question everybody, because uh, people aren't doing well and they're so afraid now to do keto and I'm here to stop this fear by educating you guys on the benefits of it because 52, 12 years solid, no refeeds, and I'm better, stronger, faster than ever before because I'm learning how to dial it in correctly by taking away stuff and adding in the right stuff. All this paleo bread and almond flour and, and you know, I've been saying this for years. People thought I was crazy when I'm like, get rid of the cheese, nuts, the caffeine, and the anti-nutrients. But now I'm even more like strong and excited that I, that I called it and I got it right. So get your potassium from lean meats, broth, get it from bone marrow if you don't have a oxalate buildup because there's oxalate in the collagen or uh, if
if you don't have a glutamate issue which has uh, people that have a histamine response to it or get it from uh, your liver yeah that's where you're gonna get your potassium from now if you're gonna get it from a supplement be careful but I would say potassium citrate and not chloride that's more toxic on the kidney system the biliary system and I hope this helps more videos to come on how to keto adapt the right way because the benefits there are no risks if you're educated and uh, you go out there and people are so obsessed with weight loss they don't understand about how the whole system works and how important it is to find balance on how much fat how many carbohydrates how many uh, if you're doing keto omnivore if you're doing keto carnivore which this that's a whole subject in a in and of itself of that a ketogenic version of carnivore is just so much more sustainable because people run into the same thyroid issues and adrenal dysfunction from you can't rely on protein as your glucose it won't restore glycogen so it's better than not being adapted but it's better to adapt because you can have explosive energy and be able to do uh, explosive workouts while being fully ketotic. I know that because I've done it for 12 years straight. Now I gotta go, enjoy my day. Till next time, if you want to go to my website for a consultation, go to stephanieperson.com. You can go to my Instagram for free content at Stephanie Ketogenic or my Facebook, which is Stephanie the Business Person, or I have a keto course, which is a subscription membership course page through my website that I work my ass off on with a lot of great content.